Welcome to Spatry's Cup of Linux. In this episode, we are going to discuss wine. And I'm not talking about Pinot Grigio, Cabernet Sauvignon, or even Mad Dog 2020 for that matter. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, wine as a compatibility layer in Linux. Uh, it is a recursive acronym for wine is not an emulator. Now, uh, in today's demonstration, I am going to be installing uh, a classic game called Fallout. I was at Target um, a few months ago, and I picked this up uh, just for laughs and giggles, and um, I enjoyed playing this game back in my Windows 95, 98 days, so um, I figured I, I'd go ahead and pick this up and, uh, and uh, relive the uh, post-apocalyptic fun. So uh, what I went ahead and did is I've already mounted the disk, and I have it here. I'm going to go ahead and run setup exe. All right, and I have uh, Wine set up to emulate a desktop. Um, this is usually good uh, if you want to uh, keep all your games kind of windowed or whatnot. So that's what I've done here. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, run the setup and everything. And this may take a little while, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and I'll come right back once the installation has completed. All right, the installation finished, and uh, it take as long as I thought it would this time. All right, and now that that's done, our window is closed, and you will see my wine uh, folder has populated with some icons. So let's go ahead and see if this worked. Ah, very nice. I'm skipping the cutscenes, and uh, let's just go into a new game. And hmm. that's odd. Now, uh, one thing I did notice the last time I installed this, the game didn't crash uh, when it was run in full screen. Hmm, that's weird. All right, well, it's misbehaving, misbehaving here, so I'll just click my little funny face and click on this window. Ah, here we go. All right. Well, let's try another one that's in the list because it installed three games. Let's try Fallout 2. Okay, looks like it's working. Okay, possibly a glitch with the first one. So at any rate, installing games in Wine is hit or miss, but there are a few options out there. You have Wine Tricks, you have Play on Linux, you have Vineyard. Uh, there's also uh, Crossover Games, and uh, Trans Gaming now has their uh, game technologies available, which you have to go online and sign up for it. In a later episode, I'll attempt to install some uh, newer games in Wine and see if we can get them working. But that's all for now. Thank you for joining me, and uh, we'll see you again next time. All right.